Hello and welcome to the Scatterbolt channel. And today, let's go over how to build a PC part four, where I show you how to install drivers and utilities on your new PC. So part one covered all the things you'll need to build a PC. Part two covers how to actually assemble a PC using your chosen components. Part three shows you how to install Windows and activate it. And now part four is gonna show you how to install the drivers and utilities once you get through the Windows setup and you get here on the Windows main desktop. Now, for a lot of you, when you reach this step, the first thing you'll notice is that you don't have any internet, which I currently don't have here right now. So this is the first thing I want you guys to do. Search up the name of your motherboard on another PC or laptop, and then using a spare USB, go ahead and download the wireless drivers from that motherboard website page onto this SSD or USB flash drive, extract it, and then put this USB flash drive into your PC. So to reiterate, click on support for your motherboard. Doesn't matter the brand, whether it's Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, or whatever. You'll always find this in roughly the same spot. Here on drivers and tools, there is our wireless driver, which we will need to access the internet. Or of course, you could just use an ethernet cable from the back of your PC to your router. Regardless, make sure you have this file on hand for your PC. And like I said earlier, we're just gonna go ahead and extract it. Click on the primary setup file. So this one where it just says ASUS setup. And once you let that install and then restart your PC, you should be able to connect to your internet from here. And you should get something like this pop up, which lets you streamline the whole utilities and motherboard drivers installation, which we'll do in a little bit. But let's take a few things back and show you how you get this, even if you don't have it pop up on your screen. Okay, so if you don't see this pop up, you should be able to go to where you found those motherboard drivers for Wi-Fi, and then scroll down to where it either says utilities, or in the case of Asus, we have another utilities called Armory Crate, which centralizes all of the motherboard utilities and chipset drivers for our motherboard. But since we had this pop up here on the bottom right, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit yes and proceed from here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept, installation successful. Let's go ahead and open up driver hub. And here is again, kind of what we just saw right here where you can download all the individual drivers on your motherboard website page, but we've actually got another website for this. So we have the AMD chipset driver, or this could be the Intel chipset driver, depending on your motherboard. Regardless, go ahead and install that. We're not gonna go ahead and install any graphics card drivers yet, because we wanna wait on the actual model of our graphics card before we make that decision. We need this Bluetooth driver though. Just to be sure, I'm gonna go ahead and download the Wi-Fi driver again from here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download the audio driver. The LAN driver is only necessary if you're using an ethernet jack, which we aren't, but if you are, download this for full speeds. And here's where you can go ahead and download optional software like Armory Crate, which is essentially this, but in its own application. You don't need Norton 360 or WinRAR. We just need those essentials. So currently these are downloading. We're gonna go ahead and wait for them to finish up and then we'll run each of them one by one. Okay. so. As you can see kind of here in the background, but all of these that I wanted to install have completed and now it actually wants me to go ahead and restart my PC. So I think it'll apply those changes and I should have drivers for all of those various motherboard utilities. So we should be good to go. Okay, so we let the PC restart and I checked the drivers again and the ones that we wanted to download and install have finished because they're not here anymore, which leaves us with the graphics card drivers. So whether you have an Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA graphics card driver, installing the drivers for them is gonna be really straightforward. All you gotta do is type in the brand of the graphics card and then drivers next to it. I'll do that for the case of each brand of graphics cards. And then click on the official link that you see at the top of each search result. So for example, if we have an Intel Arc graphics card, we're just gonna simply click the latest game ready drivers. If we have an NVIDIA graphics card, you are welcome to do a manual driver search, but what's even easier is just to go ahead and download the automatic driver detector through using NVIDIA app. That's what I recommend. But I've actually swapped out the graphics card in this build to a different one, to a Radeon graphics card. So we're here at the AMD graphics card driver page. I can go ahead and search up the graphics card if I want to here, but I'm gonna go ahead and download the auto detect driver and let this run and open. 
And see, it detected our graphics card, which I have gone for the 7800 XT. We're just gonna do the express install and that's literally it. Your screen might flicker here and there, but that's completely normal. That means the drivers are installing and then it'll prompt you to restart the PC. And that's literally it for all your drivers and utilities. Catch up with me on part five, where we finish up this PC and do the last things we need to do in the BIOS to make sure it's all good to go.